Okay, we're on live. Hi guys, what's up? So I know it's a bit early. It's actually, it's around 12.30 and I'm doing this live video advance. The reason behind is I have a family, like a family thing that I have to do later by 3 o'clock p.m. So, um, anyways, this video will be posted so you'll be able to watch it again and again. So for today, I'll be sharing with you how to do a very easy Phalaenopsis orchid. So actually, my students, they were the first one to learn this one because I have a private group specifically for my students. So sila yung una nakakaalam at natututo ng mga bagong flowers na ginagawa ko. Okay? So we'll be making orchids. Hi, Maricar! Ayun, sorry masyado maaga kasi I need to do something later on. So, emergency. Kanina lang nasabi sa akin. So, let's get started. I'll show you how to make Phalaenopsis orchids the easy way. As in, super easy. So, for today, we'll be using gum paste. So, and I would just like to share. Ito yung ginawa ko yesterday. Ayan, that's the sunflower. Yeah. okay. So, let's start with... The Phalaenopsis Orchids. I'll tilt the camera para mas kita nyo. Hi, Nadia! Hi, Tony! Ayan, okay. So, kita nyo naman, no? It's very clear. Okay. So, if you have friends that wants to learn flowers, um, invite them to like our page, yung Mark Kevin style, because this is where I'll be sharing a lot of videos starting today. Okay, so for the cutter, uh, just like what I said, for all my flowers, I use only one set of cutters. So, di ba yung teardrop na nabibili nyo? Yung teardrop cutter ng rose? Gagamitin lang natin for the orchids is cutter number 2 and cutter number 3. Again, cutter number 2 and cutter number 3. Okay, and then kailangan natin ng foam pad. And then kailangan din natin ng sponge. Tapos, of course, yung gum paste. So, if you're working with gum paste, it's better if you have a container or a ziplock to avoid it from drying out. Kasi gum paste dries out fast. Okay? So first, this is straight from the refrigerator. So this is my gum paste recipe. The recipe is posted actually on my previous post. So, ayan. So first, you get little amount of shortening. So you put it on your hands. Okay, and then we massage the paste. Hi, Eleni. Hi, Shaina. Hi, Kim. How do you pronounce that? Is it is that Kame or Kim? Kim ba yan? Ayan. So, gently massage the paste. So, as you will see, yung gum paste ko, this is very manageable and soft. Ayan. So, I just added a little bit of shortening. No need to microwave. Okay, just knead and massage until smooth okay so we'll add a little bit of cornstarch also on our hands hi Marie Christelle hello hi Joanne how are you I uploaded a new video on our group about sunflowers hi me hi John Hi, Tita Maricel. How are you there in Bulacan? Okay, so once your paste is stretchy like this, it means it's okay to work with. Okay, so let's start. So I'll tap cornstarch on my table so it won't stick. And then put your paste on top and then put a little bit of cornstarch. Then we'll start rolling. Okay. There's some greens. I think it's okay. So as you see, I'm just rolling on one direction. Hi, Irene. Hi, Clarissa. Okay. 
So for tomorrow, I'm planning to do a video of hibiscus or gumamela. It's gonna be at 3 o'clock p.m. So it's only today that I made the video earlier because I need to do something later on. Okay, so with regards to the thickness, it should be just thin enough that you can insert wire number 28. So we're, we'll be using wire number 28 for this orchids. And so what I will share you is the technique on how to create orchids using only one set of cutters. Okay. Hi Eva, hi Hazel, hi Regina, hi Gina. And so just around this thick, so yeah, you'll see it's a bit thick. Because we will manipulate the shape. So, using cutter number 3, you need to cut two, two pieces of cutter number 3. Hi, Chef Mayen. Hi, Chef Jo. And then, using cutter number 2, you need to cut four pieces. So, this is how you make Phalaenopsis orchids without the... Orchid cutter. So just in case you don't have an orchid cutter, I'll show you my technique on how you can manipulate the shape for you to make a Phalaenopsis orchid. Okay, so now we have four pieces of cutter number two and then two pieces of cutter number three. Okay, so what we'll do now, we need to put this first inside a a Tupperware that's airtight or a Ziploc container so that it won't dry out, okay? So here we have our first petal. This is cutter number two. So we will manipulate this in order to achieve the same look as the orchid lip or the center. So first, you need to cut the upper part like that. And then you need to do equally on this other side. Okay. And then the same with the other side. Okay. And then also on the other end. Ayan. So technically, you'll have something like this. So it looks like a cross. Yes, it looks like a cross. So we'll manipulate the shape. And then... The trimmings, don't throw them away because we will use this for the main center of the orchid. So just put it inside first. Okay, so this is where we need the foam pad. So now you have your cross. So the top part should be the one that has a flat end. And then this one, this will be our bottom. So this is how you will manipulate the shape. You need to get your ball tool. So this is the second to the smallest set of ball tool. So first, put cornstarch on your foam pad. And then put the paste on top. And then dab a little bit of cornstarch. And then we will first work on the bottom side. So gently pull. Okay, so as you see here. Okay, I'll face it. On to you guys. So I'm just pulling on the sides. Gently. Okay, so after that, we have something like that. We need to pull... So if you want it more rounded, just gently pinch the sides of the two arms. So now we will pull this. Okay, so basically this is just the manipulation of the shape. You need to do the other one on the other side. But of course it's better if you have the, or uh, the specific orchid cutter. What I'm just sharing is my technique. If ever you don't have a cutter, at the meantime, you can use this technique. 
Okay, so now you have something like that. Okay. So what I'll do, you need to get a sponge. So you put this on the sponge. And then dab a little bit of cornstarch. So now we need to cup the both ends. Okay, so how do you cup this one? So gently, make sure there's uh, cornstarch so it won't stick. You need to press down on the circular motion. Gently. So it becomes like that. Okay, it's like it's cupped. And then this one, you need to use a scissor. Because we need to cut this at the center. Like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. And after that, using the smaller size of the ball tool, gently pull going inwards. Okay. So we have something that looks like that. Okay, so sometimes what I like to do, you can pinch the edges so it becomes close to the real thing like that. Okay, so I just pinched it. So after this, you need to get wire. This is wire number 28. See, and then I made the loop at one end. So you just insert it. No need for edible glue. So just insert it until here. So the wire is until here. So after that, what I will do, you need to let this set aside. Okay, so you need to let it set wherein you can um, lean it forward to something wherein it will form its shape like that. So normally, what I do, this is my cutter. Since I won't use this anymore, I'll just place it like so. So that when it dries, the feet of the orchid is pointing upward. Okay, so now we'll work with the... The other petal so this is the two big petal on the side of the orchid so what I do um, the pointed part should be pointing down so gently press on the sides avoid the center just press on the sides so that we can manipulate the shape slowly okay so you see I just pressed on the sides avoiding the center and then you'll have something like so. So it looks like the orchid petal. After that, you need to use your ball tool to make the edges thinner. Okay, so you see this is the shape. So again, we started from this and then we press on the sides until it becomes something like this. Avoid pressing the center because we will insert wire on the center. Hi, Katrina. Hi, Gina. Hi, Marie Victoria. Okay, so after that, just press it on your veiner. And then... We insert wire, no need for edible glue, just insert the wire. The wire should be until here. Then after that, using your ball tool, gently go around the edge. Okay, and then we're done. So we'll move on to the next petal. Okay, so here, uh, same technique. I just press on the sides to manipulate the shape. Because you need to manipulate the shape first before you can start thinning it out. Okay, so this is okay. 
So what I'll do now, using my ball tool again, I'll just make the sides thinner, avoiding the center because this is where we will insert wire. Hi, Chef Joe. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so after that, again, put it on your veneer. And then we insert wire. We're using wire number 28. Okay? So you have something like that. The wire is until here, okay? After that, use your ball tool just to go around the edges. Okay, and then we're done with the petal. So now we will work on the sepals. Orchids actually has two petals only. And then this one, ayan, you see it already set. This is the lip or labellum. And then... We'll work on the sepals. So, for the sepals, Hi, Edna! How are you? So, this is easier because you just need a rolling pin. So, the pointed part should be pointing to you, like that, pointing to me. And then, gently roll, going out. Okay? So, it will become longer and thinner. So now, I'll press it on the veneer. And then I will insert the wire. Okay, so it looks like that. So I do the same with the next two sepals. Okay, so just roll it out. Okay, and then press on the veneer. And then insert wire. Again, no need for edible glue, but um, if you want to use edible glue, it's okay. But this recipe of gum paste, you can use it without edible glue. Hi, John, Jeric. Hi, Trish. Hi, Pearl. Okay, so we're down to our last set of sepals. So, then gently roll. And then put it on your veneer. Okay, and then we get wire number 28. So, this is how you loop it. Gently fold the end and then fold it more. So, you'll have a loop. And then, insert this on the petal. I mean the sepals. Okay. So, after that, if you guys remember, um, when we trimmed out some parts of the center of the orchid, we had a small circle like this. Ito yung pinagputulan. So, what you do, you need to knead and massage the paste, and then we will make a figure that is similar to a penis. Okay? Because if you look at the real orchid, the center, it has like a small penis. Okay, so gently roll. Roll it on your fingers so it becomes long, but not too long. Make sure that when you're rolling, one side is thicker. And one side is thinner. Okay? So, I just roll, 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 and roll. After that, I pinch this side. So, it becomes like that. And then, the other end, I need to cut this with scissors. Okay, so it looks like that. See, it looks like a small penis. Like that. So after that, I will press the sides. Okay. So this is what we have. So this one, we need to glue it on the center. Okay. So 
get edible glue so this is edible glue so for you to make edible glue that's just two tablespoon of warm water and then you mix it with one fourth teaspoon of tylos powder so we put a very little amount of edible glue on the center okay so now we place the center of the orchid and then gently press okay if your fingers are too big what you can use to press down is the ball tool gently and then we move this one it should be pointing upwards okay so this is how it should look like okay see that's how it should look like <laughs> no yeah yeah parang mushroom yeah yung ganyan <laughs> yeah ganyan siya dapat okay so now we will color and start assembling okay so i'll show you how to assemble our orchid. So every time you're dusting, you need to move out your other materials so as not to spread too much color on your working tools. Okay? So we need to clear out our table because we'll start dusting. And so I have here a paint palette. So this is what we'll use for dusting. So we need to dust this one first, the center. So I'll be using a makeup brush. First, I will remove all the cornstarch. Okay, and then I'll be using rainbow dust, but you can use any type of dust or petal dust that you can buy or is available in your area. So, because what I have at the moment, nung nag-lockdown, I only have um, petal dust with me this rainbow dust rather so first we need very little of red okay so you just need to dust so okay the outer part should be red and then the lower lip should the outer part of the lower lip this should be red and then this should be red also and then the inner part should be yellow okay so, I'll dust this with red. So, when you're dusting, it's... In my experience, it, it's better if you'll be using a makeup brush. Because the... The strands is actually lighter. So it won't destroy your flower. Okay, so we're done dusting the... Now we'll move on to color yellow. Okay, so I'll just add very little yellow on my table. Okay, just like that. So, you have to use another brush. Don't mix uh, colors of your brush. So, as you see here, I have different brushes for specific colors. So, the inner part, it should be dusted with yellow. Okay. Okay, so I'm just dusting the inner parts with yellow. And then later on, we will add the red accents. Okay, so that's how it looks like already. Okay, so we need to dust the inner parts more with yellow.
Okay, so after that, you need to get your, uh, this is my paint palette with color red. So for now, I'll be using water, but it's better if you'll be using gin or vodka. The reason behind is gin or vodka dries faster. Um, but since I ran out of gin or vodka, I'll be using water. So here I have, this is already dried. So this is the Piotraco Food Color Gel. So I'll just spray on one of the circles with water. Because we need to do detailing on this one. Okay? We need to add details. So I'll show you how I add details. So basically, um, this is your center. You need to make dots that is forming a line from here, going here, here, going here, and then on the other side also. And then you just have to make dots that is fading. So the dots should be darker here, fading away, going down. Okay, so I'll just add dots. So I'm using a very fine brush. If you don't have a fine brush, you can use toothpick. Just be careful not to not to damage and destroy your Okay, so it should be like that, you see? So if your hands is a bit shaky, that's an advantage somehow on this part because it should be dots that is forming a line so it's like broken lines okay so we're done with one side you do it on the other so you're just like dotting it slowly okay so we're done with both sides you need to do the other one on the bottom So just make small dots. Okay, so now we're done with our center. That's how it looks like. It won't focus. There, you see? That's how it looks like. Okay. So if you want to make the sides darker, you can always go back to dust it with more red so it becomes darker. Okay, so you see that? That's how it looks like. Okay, so now we will assemble our petals. So you need floral tape. So I'll just put this on the sides. Okay, so... So yun, ganun lang siyang kabilis mag-set. It sets fast. Uh, this is my gum paste recipe. Okay, so first you get um, floral tape and cut it. So you need to expand to activate the stickiness. Okay? Hi Trish! Hi Yasmin! Hi Felix! Hi Buena! Hi Mark! Okay, so after that, you need to first get your two big petals. So, this is the front side. They should be facing each other. Like that. At the same level, facing each other. Okay, so what you do, you need to wrap this with floral tape. Okay? Then after that, you open it slightly. Just like so. Then after this, you put your center like so. So it should be like that. Okay? And then gently press it downwards. Okay? So it should be like that. Okay, so now you need to wrap it with floral tape. 
so that it won't move okay so now you have something like this and now we have our three sepals so the first one you need to put it at the back so at this level it should be all at the same level Oops. Okay, like that. Then after that, okay, I'm just moving the center a little bit. You put the other two on the bottom. So first on one side on the left, just like so, and then the other one on the right side. Then gently wrap with floral tape. And then after that, you need to twist going down. And hi Lel, hi V, hi Viani, hi Sheila. So normally, the first wrapping of the floral tape, it's not neat. So you need to wrap it again with another round of floral tape so that it will become neat and very clean. Okay? Just like so. So this is what it looks like. So you need to arrange the petals because normally... When you're wrapping with floral tape, some of the petals are moving from left to right. So you need to arrange it. So, the first, I mean the two petals at the bottom should be a little bit backwards. Same as the, so it should be like that. Okay? That's how it looks like. Uh, Phalaenopsis orchids, okay? Using only one set of cutter, the teardrop cutter. And you see? It's very nice. And so that's how it looks like. So normally what I do, I add little bit of colors. So using your, um, since you still have color yellow on your table, you can dust this a little bit. On the ends. Just the end parts so that you create colors so that it's more realistic. Okay, so there you have it. That's your Phalaenopsis orchids using only one set of cutter. So the two petals at the bottom, it should be at this placement, okay? It should be a little pulled back. It should not be like this, okay? It should be a little bit backwards, okay? So there you have it, your Phalaenopsis orchids. So sometimes I bend this more going inward. You can do that. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so that's all that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and joining this live video tutorial. So tomorrow I'll share with you how to make um hibiscus. So because I asked last time on what flowers would you like to learn? And based on the comments, so a lot of you would love to learn this orchid, this one. And then some of you commented that you wanted to learn how to make hibiscus or gumamela. So I'll share with you guys tomorrow. So that's all. Thank you and have a great day. Stay safe everyone. Make lots of beautiful flowers at home. And Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.